Hey guys, my new course, Angular 360 Part 2, uh, which covers the latest version of Angular. We work with cryptocurrency APIs, we display some data, we filter the data, sort the data, we display a chart. It's all really, really cool. It's a really cool project. Uh, and one I think if you're interested in cryptocurrencies, you'll actually maybe use uh, quite frequently. So I'm pretty excited to show it to you. Let me tell you all about it. All right, so if you took part one uh, where we were building an Angular project and uh, we're building a personal portfolio, it was about three hours of content. The uh, My new course, Angular 360 part two, is six hours of content. So it's doubled, it's still the same price, $10 with the coupon code Coding God. But uh, I just wanted to bring up the first one because sometimes people, oh, well, there's parts, so I have to do the first part. No, uh, the first part is just slightly easier, less concepts. Uh, more streamlined. You're going to build a cool portfolio project there, and I, I think you should check it out. And we do go into detail in the first one, like uh, part of the way my courses are structured for this specific uh, type of course is I actually wireframe things out to deliver a picture, to paint a picture of what it is that we're going to build. In part one, I actually go through and, and share with you my mindset as I'm building this out and wireframing it out. In, in part two, I just, these are the wireframes and uh, this is what we're doing with it. I don't think we needed to cover it twice. So there are some things that are different, but part two generally covers a lot more concepts, but they're two different projects, project base. And um, so part two follows the same structure as before, where uh, the content gives, gives you an introduction, what it is that we're building, why we're building it. We actually go into user stories as well, um, how to write a user story, what they are, uh, those sort of things. things. I try to build these courses so that they're, as relevant to how the software development lifecycle works in the real world. And so we have wireframes, we have user stories, and then we build out the project, right? Uh, we build it out, this is what I call our rough draft. Um, we build it out, and then we have our unit test, right? And you'll see even right now, I have them up and running where I write with you nine different unit tests and uh, using Karma and Jasmine. And uh, if you don't know what those are, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna go over all that in the in the video. We cover a lot of topics in here. Um, you'll see that in the description, we're gonna be covering Angular, TypeScript, JavaScript, Jasmine slash Karma, Git, HTML5, CSS3, and Bootstrap 4. So, um, I mean, this is mainly an Angular and TypeScript course, but we do, and JavaScript, of course, but uh, we do cover all these other aspects because I want you to be as prepared as possible. And those are, that's kind of the standard stack you would do with a project like this. Um, so we build our rough draft out. We then run our unit test, which is our build our test. Those are our tests. We refactor the code and then we have um, the fun stuff, right? The uh, how how can we re, how can we how can you the this is this section six is how can you not we anymore? What can you go and do to make this section? make this project even better. Um, this is how it sticks, right? You go and you practice, you practice, you practice, you learn. Um, so that's kind of how it's set up. And so I'll give you some hints of, okay, well, this clean code section, this is something you could clean up. Um, writing additional tests, so I only wrote nine. There's probably should be around 30 with all the components we have there. And that's for you to go practice and get familiar with writing tests so you can get familiar with Jasmine and Karma. And then a bug fix, and then some features that you're gonna build out that I have wireframes for as well. But uh, let's take a look at the project, right? So what is all I'm talking about? I'm not showing it to you. So our project here is um, the top 100 cryptos. That's what I, I called the project. And we're consuming uh, some open source cryptocurrency APIs. You don't have to go get an API key or anything like that. Uh, that was, that was, that's always a hassle when, to get people up and going. So literally, you could take this link, throw it in the... Um, the search bar here or the URL bar, whatever it's called, and you'd be able to see the data. So the project itself gives you the top 100 cryptos, right? Um, we are going to filter the data. So you'll see right here if it's in red, uh, not a good day for crypto, <laughs> tell you that much. Uh, so let's see, positive out of 100, only three are positive. You'll see it's in green. We've also applied the show only 10, right? And then we've, uh, we've, uh, been, a we've, been able to sort on each one of the column headers. So this is something that we're gonna add as well. And then we're um, adding the BTC price of these things or the USD price, right? Um, and 
Then we also build a chart using an open source uh, chart charting library, which is a chart.js wrapper sort of thing. Um, and so this will show the last year or so of Bitcoin prices, which I think is pretty cool. So that's the project in a nutshell. It was a lot of work, right? Um, I would say, I mean, this this varies, but um, I didn't realize I was doing six hours of content by the time I was done. We, oh, we also, um, I go I do go over Git so that you can go and push this to your GitHub. That's one of the things I really want people to start getting active with is working on their GitHub, adding things to their GitHub. And I, sh I give you a very brief introduction to how to get going with that. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was um, a, a project that I wanted to make. We basically made sort of a mini coinmarketcap.com site. And um, that's actually where two of the APIs are from. Um, thank you to coinmarketcap.com <laughs> for supplying me with stuff to make. Um, but yeah, six hours of stuff. We also, of course, display the data here. Um, and um, it, was a, it was a ton of fun. Um, it was the, I'm always surprised by how much work it takes to actually make one of these courses. And um, like any of the courses, I am always actively looking to make it better. So something um, I stumble in the video or if you're like, hey, can you maybe dive deeper on this one thing? You kind of blazed over it. I'm happy to do that. Um, so let, let me know in the um, comments. And if you do get the course, please, please, please review it. Um, much like subscribing to the YouTube channel, uh, when you take the course and you review it, it really helps it stand out with the other courses on there because there's a ton, right? Just like YouTube, there's a ton of competition. And if you don't like something about it, send me a message about how I can improve it before you rate it. <laughs> In a perfect world, that would be how it works. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is my third course. It's kind of crazy, right? Uh, we have now, and this is out, by the way, if you're watching this video, it's been out for a few days. Um, I've, uh, but again, there's a link in the description for Coding God, and there's a link in the description for Coding God for all the courses. If you're interested in just the JavaScript 360 course, Coding God, you get it for $14.99. The Angular 1, Coding God, you get it for $9.99, and, uh, or Angular, the Angular Part 1 and Angular Part 2, $9.99. So, um, Pretty crazy, right? I am uh, slowly been knocking these courses out, and it's been a, it's been an experience. Um, I don't know. I've started a new project of my own, um, so I probably won't have a course for a while. Uh, but I do plan on uh, one thing that I want to do is uh, I want to create a a crash course series, if you will. I don't want to steal Traversy Media's. Uh, name and I, I won't but that's kind of the idea where I want to build a about 10 hours of content where um, think of it as a mini boot camp like uh, Colt Stills where I go over 10 topics an hour piece and make it so that might be something that I do down the road um, and I, I think would be very beneficial and then maybe on each one of those topics I'll build an expanded course but right now I'm in a, a very big project that I started where I am uh, I am building a uh, sort of. It's, it's uh, I'm building a quiz platform so that uh, I'll create quizzes that will be coding related, right? So you want to be tested on JavaScript, you take the JavaScript quiz, and it's really dynamic and all this sort of stuff. But it's uh, I'm building the CRUD tool so that you can maintain the quizzes. And uh, in phase one, I'll be putting out my own quizzes, and then in phase two. Uh, people can go and create their quizzes and share them and upvote them and they're going to be based on cert certain topics and things like that. So um, I may not have another quiz for a little while because that's taking all my energy. I'm super passionate about that. Um, I spent a lot of fun with that. But um, it's going to be actually the first web application I release, um, like in terms of like putting it on the internet for people to use, uh, which is kind of crazy, right? You're a web developer almost two years, never put anything out there on the web. For people to use right so <laughs> what, a, what a strange concept um but yeah so if you're interested in the course it's really cool um i we went off on a tangent uh this is about promoting the course we're promoting the shit out of this course um so check out uh it was a lot of fun it's a great great introduction just a little bit about what it goes over I probably should start with this uh we're going to be talking about components uh we're also going to be talking about services uh pipes interfaces classes 
Uh, what else are we going to be talking about? Um, that stuff, testing, unit testing, unit, the test bed in Angular, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. If you want to know more, there is a introduction video and a course introduction that breaks it all down. We cover exactly. I have like a PowerPoint. It's very professional. So professional. It has three slides, but it's super professional. So uh, check it out, guys. Again, the coupon code is Coding Guide, and there's a link in the description. I appreciate you watching this video. When you buy these courses, it helps me get that much closer to chasing the the self-employment YouTube slash Udemy slash a little bit of everything dream. And uh, that's exciting. So thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, baby. I just finished building my second Angular course. That's great, baby. What's the angle? Angular. Angular, baby. Quick thank to our sponsor, deviceplus.com. If you guys are interested in Arduino and the Internet of Things, such as Raspberry Pis, might I recommend checking them out, deviceplus.com. If you click the link in the top corner, it will take you to a really cool thing. It's an intro beginner level tutorial of how to build a tripwire using Arduino. Check it out.